This is what remains of one of the dams that collapsed in Derna, sending a wall of water into the city. My daughter told me about it. She lives near the dam. When the valley burst, her husband put her on top of a closet. She was holding on to it. The water gushed down the mountains towards the sea, wiping out nearly everything in its path. These satellite images capture the scale of the destruction caused to the port city and the damage to crucial roads and bridges. <laughs> we need help. We need rescue teams. We need professionals. We are not trained uh, enough to face such catastrophe. We need rescue teams. Professional rescue teams, people are still under the rebels. Questions have been raised about the management of the ageing dams and the information provided to residents before the tragedy struck. Libya's Tripoli-based Prime Minister acknowledging there had been issues with their maintenance. In one way or another, I believe that we all bear responsibility, all Libyans. However, I, as your leader bear the primary responsibility. If there would have been a normally operating meteorological service, uh, they could have issued the warnings and we could have lost, uh, avoided most of the human casualties. On land, the search for survivors continues, rescue dogs helping to look for any signs of life. The mud is the greatest problem. Bodies are buried under piles of mud and debris, three or four metres high of mud. The likelihood that people will be found alive is fading, but those with missing loved ones register their names in the hope there'll be some news. Nor Hader, ABC News.